In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record. Reports documented a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet? The highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease. It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against against the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to Big Pharma. The fight against the New World Order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine of your sick, tired, and obese. When you visit InfoWarsHealth.com, be sure and check out the catalog with nearly 400 life-changing products and get free shipping when you sign up for AutoShip. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Now take you live to the Central Texas Command Center and the heart of the resistance. It's Alex Jones. I know that many Americans are also worried about the potential risks to the United States. So I want to be very clear. We do not expect harmful levels of radiation to reach the United States, whether it's the West Coast, Hawaii, Alaska, or U.S. territories in the, uh, in the Pacific. Let me repeat that. We do not expect harmful levels of radiation to reach the West Coast, Hawaii, Alaska, or U.S. territories in the Pacific. That is the judgment of our Nuclear Regulatory Commission and many other experts. Well, there you go. I'm David Knight filling in for Alex Jones. I'm joining the studio with Anthony Gucciardi. And Anthony, Obama is kind of like the weather. If you don't like it, you wait a little while and it changes, right? So now the story has changed about Fukushima and radiation coming to America, hasn't it? Well, that was in 2011 mm -hmm. when we said over and over again, Fukushima radiation is coming. Fukushima radiation may already be here at 2011. Fukushima radiation is worse than TEPCO is admitting in 2011. Obama was on television saying everything's fine. The radiation will never be here. I wanted to cover this specifically because at the top of Drudge, there was an article, it's probably still there, scientists test West, test West Coast for Fukushima radiation. 
Mm -hmm. Don't worry, it's very low levels, of course, right? Radiation from the Fukushima nuclear disaster likely will reach ocean waters along the U.S. West Coast next month, scientists are reporting. Now, let's be clear, it's already here. We've had multiple reports of that. But now it's openly stated in USA Today. And here's a quote from the scientist who's freaking out about it. I'm not trying to be an alarmist, he said. We can make predictions, we can do models, but unless you have results, how will we know if it's safe? And last July, this is in the US Today admitting this, Tokyo Electric Power Company, TEPCO, which operates the plant, acknowledged for the first time that the reactor was leaking contaminated underground water into the ocean. Yes, last July. Now, let's look back to 2012 in an article that I wrote in May. Specifically talking about how just they admitted that the radiation exceeded two and a half times the amount that they originally stated and they admitted that they lied. Fukushima plant operators are now admitting that the Fukushima radiation levels admitted from the disaster exceeds almost two and a half times the initial estimate produced by Japanese, Japanese safety regulators. Study revealed that significantly more radioactive uh, waste was released into the atmosphere as a result of the Fukushima explosion that many nuclear experts previously told the public. And it goes on to say that the operating company deliberately concealed this information. 2% ended up on land, 20% also fell on other areas of land, and the remainder went into the Pacific Ocean. So yeah, obviously, it's already here, obviously. Mm -hmm. You know, um, Alex well, there's, there's, out. it carries over the wind, it's bioaccumulated in the food supply. What's really sad about this is that they were saying, don't worry, there's nothing to be alarmed about. It's okay to the, so, to the sailors who were on the USS Reagan. And we see that they were exposed to such high levels of radiation that there was no concern to be had and about that. That now we're seeing immediate threats to their health. It's going to be much more difficult for the population to connect the dots for the general population exposed to lower levels, but it will have an effect on Americans through bioaccumulation, through this exposure. It just may be in the number of cancer deaths that people have five years, 10 years, 20 years down the road. It'll be very hard to tag it to that like we've tagged it with the sailors on board that ship. But they were deceived, they were lied to about that. And now we see that they're already having tremendous health effects well, on over 100 sailors. I brought this up. Because this is an yet another example of us saying in 2011 what's happening. Obama denying everything, saying it's fine. All the so-called experts in the government yes. saying it's fine. While the actual private experts say it's a big disaster. And now it's coming, they say in April, it'll be here. They also said a couple months ago that you know it was already coming, skyrocketing rates that we tested and everything like that. But I wanted to mention that. I'm just glad you know that we know what's going on. They're not going to tell you about nascent iodine. They're not going to tell you about any of that. It's That's up right. to you to do your own research. Look up nascent iodine, check out the information. Also, you know, kelp and, and various forms of kelp, everything like that. But just prepare yourself because we were right. Government was lying to you once again. But if you find, you know, care in listening to the government lies, that's on you. They're not going to tell you what the risks are. And as you pointed out, they're not going to tell you what you can do to protect yourself, to protect your family. We tell people that and, and it's the way we support this operation. But it is also, you have to take action yourself. And, you know, it's something that uh, nobody else is going to do that for you. They're not going to take the fluoride out of the water. They're not going to tell you that fluoride is the, the way to protect your health from radiation exposure. Uh, uh, sorry, not fluoride. I said <laughs> did I say fluoride. iodine is, is the way to do that. You have to take a look at it yourself. You have to do what's in your interest and your family's interest. And it's a win-win situation if you do that. But if you just trust the government, their story is going to be constantly evolving, constantly lying to you about the risks. Exactly. And that's the bottom line. If you want to listen to the government, that's fine. If you want to do your own research, look up nascent iodine, look up other alternatives, that's on you. But the reality is that the Fukushima radiation, we told you about it 2011. Now, what's today? You know, USA Today, March 9th, saying, yeah, radiation might be coming to the West Coast. Well, this has been going on now for three years. Yep. And they talk about the head of the Nuclear Regulatory Agency. That's what who Obama was quoting. Well, the head of the Nuclear Regulatory Agency has now said that they need to shut down all American reactors because they share the same design flaw as Fukushima does. So he's very concerned about that. It's not just the risk that we're exposed to from Fukushima. It's the risk that we're exposed to from all these other plants that are much, much closer to us that are here in the United States. And it's also not just a risk of the plants exploding from something catastrophic like an earthquake or like a flood or something like we've seen with Three Mile Island or Chernobyl. It's also the risk that 
the storage pools are going to have a breakdown. And that's what we saw at Fukushima as well. And so we have a, a nuclear waste problem that is just as dangerous as the operation of the reactors. And the problem is, is that we can't trust the American companies and the American government to tell us the truth about this any more than we can trust the Japanese companies and the Japanese government to tell us the truth. Well, the bottom line is I encourage everyone to check out InfoWarsLife.com and read about the nascent iodine for yourself. I didn't bring it up even thinking of that, honestly, it's on the top of Drudge. Scientists test West, uh, West Coast for Fukushima radiation, ordering to be tested. Meanwhile, Washington is shutting off its radiation detection. We have none happening now. We have none planned as far as radiation detection, uh, says the communications director for the Washington State Department. And they're just going to let it happen. You know, Washington yeah. doesn't care. They say the bulk of it's probably going to hit Washington. They don't even have radiation testing going on. California does. It's concerned. We've got a couple of minutes before we go to break. Let's let's take some calls, Anthony. Uh, we got Chris in Indiana. You wanted to say something about CPAC and Rand Paul. Mr. Hello, Chris. Knight, Mr. Gutierrez, honored to talk to both of you. What did you honored to talk to you. Great talking to you. What did you want to say about CPAC and Rand Paul? Well, about the Rand Paul speech, what what he addressed to the what I call the National Socialist Agency. He said, "Quote: Cell phones are none of your damn business." Which that's means right. he means business, if you ask me. Yes, that's right. We and need to get angry want, about that, don't we? Yeah, we need to get angry about that. You know, when people laugh about that and just use it as a joke, I think we should be beyond that by now. We should be having some outrage, some indignation like Rand Paul had about that. You're right about that. And people laughed at Ted Cruz's jokes, but people gave Rand Paul a round of applause for that quote. And I'm wondering, I'm, I'm predicting right now, Rand Paul versus Hillary Clinton 2016 on the Republican and Democratic ticket, respectively. And will people wake up and finally vote pro-liberty is the real question. Yeah, it'll be very interesting. That'll be an interesting Symbolic. matchup if that happens. Yeah, and Ron uh, Paul to Rand Paul. And Rand Paul might just have you know, enough power behind getting alternative reality in there with the real conservative movement to potentially do it. Absolutely. Let's go to uh, RJ in Oklahoma. Thank you, Chris. He uh, wanted to talk about uh, electoral victories not being enough, you said? Yes, uh, it's going to be pretty tough. I, I've, been, I've been in this business for 20 years. I'm a Oath Keeper, Tea Party Coordinator. Uh, you know, by the way, David, you and Anthony, hats off. You're doing a phenomenal job. Well, thanks. So what do you think it's going to take, though? I tell you, what, you go. Go ahead and tell us. We've got just a few seconds, and we'll come back to you. We'll hold you over the break. But what do you think it's going to okay. take? What well, do you think it's going to take? I'll say the first thing we have, we must have revival. And I appreciate the spiritual output that I that I hear on the show. It, it All right, hang better. on. We're going to be right back. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives Gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press. All the while enjoying a truly great tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency super male vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals 
super male vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off super male vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your super male vitality. InfoWarsLife.com. 